All right. So a little side quest, just to give y'all a glimpse of what my uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories account is. This is my Proud Mode account. I've completed it with Sora. I have not completed it yet with Riku. I'm going down the castle now, but this is my... There wasn't much you could do with Riku as far as just go down and be, cre be creatures. You earn, like, new abilities as you go further down, but it ain't too much to it other than that. Um, these are my decks. My, my main deck... Mm, hold up, I don't know how you can view it. Uh, uh, okay. My main deck is composed of these cards. I have these set up to where I can use, like, Fire Rig of Burst. The proud roar thing, the stop, the lethal flame, etc. Like it's set up like that. I don't too much use this one. And well, I used it a little more because usually <laughs> I'm playing on proud mode, so I have this one in my deck. I could remove it and probably add another lethal flame into there. Because as you can see, these card points ain't really too much. But. I had to, like, adjust. To how the game basically beat me into oblivion almost. So yeah, this is my main deck. It's legit. It's legit for basic like combat against all heartless, and do well when I <clears throat> when I fight all the bosses. But this one is my troll deck. This one is literally strictly Ars Alcrum and. Zen Texku on the last few. And the first two, uh, the first start off is um, Ragnarok. And this is what I call Boss Killer or Troll Deck because every it only works on bosses. And you'll start off uh, Ragnarok the entire party, then you like Mario Lucia. So that way you can get them all done. But once you're done with that, you reload. And you hit the Jafar. And then you are Salcrum to Oblivion. 90% of the time, like the first few bosses that you go up against, like the first handful of them, you can just are Salcrum Jafar. Because, you know, Jafar is an attack card counter breaker. So this deck got me through one of my gameplays. Like, I played through this twice. But I have it, like, I went through proud mode with ease with this deck. Every time I go up against the boss, I'm like, alright, time to troll him. Pop, 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 pop. Done. Arse Alcrum, they joints. I rarely use Ragnarok unless I, I was fighting Marluxia at the end. I use Ragnarok on him with double slate. <laughs> I was thinking about creating a Leap of Flame troll deck and Marluxia or Jafarit, but... Who knows? But yeah, that's my deck. For the people who are saying I don't like to play, like, who calls me Yu-Gi-Oh! I got a legitimate deck build. It's just that I don't like playing with cards. When you play Kingdom Hearts, you don't, you shouldn't have to play with cards. Like, as you see, Verify Sweep. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Kingdom Hearts 3, none of them had the card feature. They all had like slot features where you can use abilities and they have to reload after a time frame, but never have to just like depend on cards. 
and play this like this before again. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show y'all. Thank y'all. Have a good night.